think it's time, YouTube family. Time for what? Time for bed. Time for bed? <laughs> It really is time for bed. I, you tired already? <laughs> we have a list of things to do. We have done so much work today already as we are preparing for our raised garden beds. And we have been waiting for about four or five years dreaming of doing raised garden beds. And we grow a huge fruits and veggie garden every year in our yard, about a 30 foot by 30 foot. When we first bought our house, we did the go big or go home and plant as many things as we could to see what would grow. And we had an abundance of fruits and veggies that we were giving away to neighbors and family. All of the delicious things. All of the delicious things. And so we absolutely knew for sure this year we wanted to do a garden. But the weather has been crazy on and off. We've had snow, hail, thunderstorms just not ideal weather. And so we still don't have our garden in the ground. And if we don't get it in now, it's not gonna happen this year. And we cannot have that happen. I see no. the worry on your face. So we need to do so much prep before we can get this done. And then we also need to get the supplies that we need for the raised garden beds. So we better get working. Let's go. We figured since we were planning on planting a little later in the year than normal, that we would head and do a curb pickup at our favorite nursery, Cannondale Nurseries. We always get our starter veggies here every year. And so it was the perfect spot to get a few things to give our garden a boost since we're going to plant a lot from seed. We need to get a head start on a few things since we are planting late. These are beautiful veggies and we have a huge variety to now be able to put into our raised beds when they're done being built. So in a couple of more days, we're going to be building our big new thing we're putting in the backyard, which is going to go in this back corner here. And then what we wanna do is put our raised garden beds in this area here, sort of in the perimeter of where our building is going to go. And so in order to do that, we already have sort of the plot of where our garden was last year and it's getting a little overgrown because we haven't yet got our garden started this year yet and so what we need to do is we need to actually extract a bunch of the plants that we've been growing like our strawberry patch is hiding in here so the kids and i are going to get this all out and ready and move because we don't want to obviously build our new big shop that we're building on top of this. So we're gonna get working and move this. Chase and I planted these strawberries as little tiny babies about five years ago when he was only about three years old and they're growing really big and every year we've separated them and now we have a huge strawberry plant plot. So it's so fun to be able to see how big these have grown and the kids planted these when they were little. Dayton has decided that this is his new favorite comfy t-shirt, Wendy. So thank you so much for sending it for the boys. They're both loving them. I'll get all the weeds out of that one for you. <laughs> you got a jungle on that one. <laughs> Put your back into it. <laughs> All of the plants around the pond are really filling out. And actually we took some pieces off of some of these hostas and plants that we had here. And we planted them in some other areas of the yard last year. So we just have some babies coming up this little strip here and a few around the perimeter. So we are going to be moving these. Last year we had a different plan for the garden, not knowing we were going to do this big build. So we have a few things we need to move. We also have this raspberry patch that actually is a little sparse in the middle. We usually have some the trails up the fence here. So not as much has grown through yet this year, but it needs to be weeded for sure. We haven't got to this yet this year, and I think it'll make a huge difference. And then we can do our strings to make sure it stands nice and tall. Now that we have this area all cleaned up, we're going to dig a hole in the middle there and move a couple of the far side ones that are expanding further than we want them to down here into the middle. That way we'll have a nice full patch right here. And then we'll be able to use our string that we have at the top there to put a few like tie ups so that they don't droop down when we're trying to cut the lawn. Helps us to be able to keep the berries off of the ground and getting all mushy. So we're going to do that next. And then we need to find a spot that we're gonna put those other plants that we took out. It's good for now, as they start getting a little bit taller throughout the season. Slug slime. Ooh, slug slime. We're slimed. Um, as we get growing throughout the season, we'll have to put some more strings up, but this looks really good for now. I like that we kind of planted a few over in that empty spot so that next year 
they'll start to come in a little bit. We left a lot of soil around them, so we maybe didn't even disturb them that much, and we might actually get them to keep growing this year, I'm not sure. And then we have our strawberry plants all out of the ground. They're no longer where the shed's gonna be, so we need to now get that ready to get put back in the ground. But we also have some other plants in the yard that we need to move that are going to be where our raised beds are gonna go that we're gonna start building tomorrow. We ordered the wood today and we're so excited because we're going to do a four, four by eight by two feet deep raised bed planters in the backyard to put all of our starter veggies in. And so I think it's gonna be amazing. And then we're gonna do this great ledge all the way around to help have a lean spot for when you're working in the garden. And we ordered all of the soil to have dropped off on Saturdays so we can fill the beds and get those plants in. So what we wanna do is get that area all mapped out for where the shed's gonna go, where the raised beds are gonna go, what kind of layout we want, and then we'll know where these plants are gonna go back in the ground. best idea to work out here in the evening instead of during the day because it was super hot today we would have never got this accomplished if we would have done this mid-afternoon or even early morning It's been 48 hours and the preparation that it took to get ready for this big build that we have coming up and for our raised bed garden build took a lot longer than we actually expected it to take. For sure. We took all the plants that we wanted saved, which are delicious strawberries. Raspberries, mom's willow. And we moved them to areas in the backyard that aren't gonna be in the way of our huge build. So with that being said, we are so excited because our lumber's in right now. We our have our dirt getting dropped off tomorrow. It's so exciting. So with all of the materials ready here, we are now going to start building the raised garden beds tonight and tomorrow, which you guys are gonna see in tomorrow's video. And we're so excited and we are building four, two feet deep, four, by eight size garden beds. These are going to be huge and we're building them with nice thick spruce and they're going to be gorgeous. We, and picked, then, up, we picked up the nicest lumber from McNaughton's Home Hardware. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect for what we need. It even smells good. It does <laughs> smell good, yeah. Love the smell of fresh wood. So we're gonna get building this and we have just a few more days until all of the supplies for our huge backyard project that's coming up. We are building a huge shop shed tiny house build in the back and we are so excited i just spoke to them today they're getting everything ready for us and they are actually going to come and deliver all of the supplies to us in the next few days so we are so excited because this is going to be an absolutely huge project and we're so excited that we get to bring you guys along on the journey because this is going to be a stepping stone is what i'm going to call it yes. for something that's going to come in the near future on our channel hopefully within this year, that we are dreaming about doing. And yeah. we know so far that everything we've set our minds to, we've been able to do it. So I'm going to say that this is a stepping stone to a bigger, bigger, tiny project that we want to do about a year's down the road. So we are like so excited to have the practice and do this type of So build. if you're not yet subscribed... What, what are, are you, you waiting, waiting for? Hit, Hit the that subscribe, subscribe button. button. We have so much coming your way. You better stay tuned because we have a whole month of content for you guys that I think is going to knock your socks off. It's been super hot. You don't want to be wearing socks. Yeah. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on tomorrow's episode. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow is DIY how to build gorgeous raised garden beds. So fun. <laughs>